Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Mr. Joe Breaks. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get iOS 5.1 on your non-supported device. So it's supported for the iPod Touch first and second generation, and along with the iPhone second and third generation. So not the 3G, it's just the iPhone 2G and 3G. So in order to get it, you guys are going to need to, going to, need to have two different downloads, iRev and your device's firmware. And this is just a text document, which I'll show you guys in a bit. So you guys will need to go um, into the link down in the description below. And basically, you guys will be led here. So the first link down, like I said, in the description below is White Door. So you guys want to go to Download, and then you guys want to choose your device. So I already downloaded mine. Um, and for the iPod Touch first and second generations, it's really simple. Just click this, the first link. It'll then open up a new link, and you guys will have to skip this ad. So just be patient with the ad. Hold on. All right. So like I said, just skip it. It'll then open up a new link or another page. You guys then just want to click the first um, link for your device. So scroll down. So our device, that's iPhone 3G, uh, iPod Touch 1G. So now, now you guys are just going to want to choose it. And then it'll then open up another link. Sorry for all the links. And then you guys then just want to click download there. Um, now. If you guys have an iPhone 2G or 3G, and you guys are do not know what normal and unlock is, so you guys can see here is unlock. I go to above it. There's normal. The difference between the two is normal is just a regular IPSW. Unlock, unlocked is um, if you guys have a different carrier. So, so say you guys want to get T-Mobile on your iPhone, you guys would download unlocked. So that way you guys can unlock it on another carrier. So once you guys have cho or once you guys have downloaded your IPSW, you guys are then gonna want to go to I Hate Snow. Like I said, that link will also be down in the description below. Most likely the second link. Um, and you guys want to download iReb. It's, it'll download automatically right away as soon as you guys click the link. <clears throat> so once you guys have downloaded it, you guys are gonna want to extract um, the IPSW onto your desktop so that way you guys know where it is. And the text document just basically explains that. Um, is a 100% stable release for all users, so it's not like buggy. The developer released it, so we, when he released it, it's 100% stable. So once you guys have downloaded it and everything, you guys are going to want to run iRed. It'll give you this um, little warning or allow to uh, allow you to have permissions. Click yes. Okay, so now once now once it's open up, you guys want to choose your device. So like I said, it's supported for either the iPhone 2G and 3G, and for iPods, iPod Touch 1G and 2G. So I have my iPod Touch first generation. Yes, I just want to make it known I am on iOS 3.1.3. I've been displaying that the whole time now. Now what we're going to do is prepare to put our device in a DFU mode. So in order to put your device in a DFU mode, you guys want to hold your home and power buttons. There are power buttons here and your home buttons here. Let's hold it together for the amount of time that it's displayed on the screen. And then once I say now, you guys are going to le release the power button and continue holding the home button and, um, until it, it puts your device in a DFU mode. So I'm going to say now when you hold the 2, and I'm going to say release when you release the power button. So let's go and begin this. So when I say now, you guys want to hold the ho hold the 2. Now. So you guys, when I say release, you guys are then going to want to release the power button and continue holding the home button. release. Now keep holding the home button. And if you guys heard the badink, that's perfectly normal. Actually, that's um, actually something you guys want to hear. And now it says searching for DFU. So it's been saying that. And now it says download, downloading essentials. And you guys can then release the uh, home button. Just put your iPod touch down. And now just wait for it. Still says downloading essentials. So just be patient with it. Okay. And now it says uploading. Uploading WTF. Oh my god. Alright. Now it says your device is now in a pwn DFU state. And it says black screen. You may now launch iTunes and do a, do shift plus restore to restore to custom firmware. Note if you get air 2003 in iTunes after extracting, just unplug and may plug it in and do it again. So now I'll click OK. And now we can then close out of iRev. Now we're going to want to go and open up, where is it? Oh, iTunes. If it, doesn't, if it doesn't open it up already. So just open it up. All 
right. You guys should get a little um, pop up saying iTunes has detected has detected an iPod in recovery mode. You must restore that iPod before it can be used with iTunes. Click OK. Now you guys want to hold Shift, the Shift key, and then click rest or, whoops, Restore. And then you guys are want to go and get the firmware. So here it is, and click Open, and then it'll begin to extract it. Now earlier I uh, had mentioned that if it says that you get an error 2003 which hopefully if I can remember there should be a picture on the screen right now and just showing it. Um, you guys want to, uh, if you guys get error 2003 you guys in order to fix it is just unplug and then replug back in your device and it should fix it. So anyways guys I'll be back once it is done. Alright guys, so once it's done, you guys should then, uh, iTunes should automatically pop up. You guys can, you know, like, set up as a new iPod Touch and everything. I just skipped through that just so that way you guys don't have to see that. But you guys can now see my device is fully restored on iOS um, 5.1. Of course, if you guys go into your settings, general, and about it, I think it, yeah, it still says 3.1.3 just because it is a custom firmware and they can't really do that just because it will break the law, sadly, but yes. You guys can see I currently have, if I can focus this, well, you guys can really see that. But I have Cydia, iCloud, and Terminal installed. But anyways, guys, if you guys want more videos like this where it's just white door and older devices, be sure to give this video a like. Comment down below if, you, if this helped you and um, if you guys want more white door videos. And be, please be sure to subscribe up top because subscribing up top does um, notify you guys when I do upload my latest videos. Anyways guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.